Today, guys, we're going to look at how to render or airbrush um, stone or granite. All right, we're going to look at uh, how to render granite or stone, if you will. Uh, this can be applied to any type of project that you're wanting to do that's going to require um, that, that look of stone or granite. We'll lay down a base coat of gray. Uh, this is an aluminum license plate. So I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, white, base coat of white to start off. Give a little bit of a mat, uh, something to grab onto. Just a little bit, nothing perfect there. I'm going to get my black. All right, we're just going to lay down a base coat first. Uh, and that, that's going to allow uh, some of the other uh, elements in the stone, uh, like the whites, to pop. I'm just going to lay a base coat of gray, make it look gray. Okay, now um, one of the techniques uh, that you can use, uh, which I've always used, is just using a clothespin, uh, and we're going to deflect uh, the paint off the side. Now, what this is going to do, um, depending on how close, now I don't use the tips of my airbrushes, get a little bit uh, finer line on there, uh, but a lot of times you probably want to keep your uh, cap on the end of the, your uh, airbrush in order to prevent the bending of the needle. But what we're going to do is we're going to basically lay this down and we are going to angle uh, the, the paint coming off of this hard surface. The further back I pull back or the closer, the farther back I get from the, the medium I'm spraying on, the bigger the, the stippling effect. This is a stippling effect um, is what we call it. Um, and I've got more control. Now you'll, you'll notice as I start to spray that, I'm going to lay it up against there. I'm going to pull my air back and then I'm going to start laying down some stippling. And basically you're just going to kind of lay that on there where you want it and kind of get control of that. And we're going to do a random pattern. All right, now I'm gonna get white. Okay, now if you notice, uh, what that looks like now that gives us that uh, idea of uh, cement or concrete now we're going to take our black uh, we'll let that dry for just a second um, i'm going to go ahead and take a a uh, hair dryer and dry that off now we're just going to come in and start laying down some cracks and there's nothing um I mean, this is just random, so it's organic. So we're just going to kind of come on up and start laying in some tracks. And you can come in to another side and bring that one down.
nothing fancy on that. Now, just to kind of give you an idea, if you want to, you're going to shade some of this crack, and we're going to come back in and highlight uh, some of the edges of uh, the cracks that are in there. So. When it looked like a, a piece was missing, you could just kind of come in and right. now remember this is organic, so you can fill in some different shading in different areas. Darken the edges if you want, to kind of give a frame effect. Come back in with our white and highlight some of the edges of the um, cracks on the other uh, side. So we just gonna kind of come in. Kind of hard to go at an angle around the camera. And that kind of gives you an idea and, and you can see uh, what we're doing. Uh, basically, um, cut in your cracks. You're going to highlight some of the areas of where the light would hit uh, coming down. If you wanted to have a recessed look uh, on one of the parts, you could darken that down. Um, if we wanted to make it look like it was a like a part that had actually fallen a little bit deeper, like if we wanted this middle piece to kind of be like it was down lower, then we could darken that down a little bit more. That just kind of gives it an idea that it's down lower than the other pieces and breaking in. Um, and you can do this for any types of, uh, if you were doing a, a, like a vase, we'll do a flower pot, uh, maybe one day and kind of do a video on that. You can paint a whole flower pot like this, put in some cracks and render it and it'll, you'll have a piece that looks, oh my gosh, it looks like it's broken. Um, but it's not. So, you know, as you, uh, develop your skill, I mean, you, you can just throw it down. Don't be afraid to, I mean, this, again, this is an organic, um, rendering. So, you know, there are no mistakes by any means. Um, and you can go with whatever, um, Another thing you can do if you wanted to give it like layers, like if you were doing a rock um, and like, let's say that there was a layer of a rock, you can take a um, piece of paper and tear it. Let me get a piece of paper. Okay, I've just got a piece of paper out of a magazine, and the only thing we're going to do on this is we're just going to tear it randomly. I'm just gonna, we're just going to look for an organic edge that kind of gives us a little bit of a tear pattern. And I'll, you know, you can kind of lay that down. Take your black and just kind of, uh, depending on what, um, let's say we wanted to have the layer kind of looking on this side. You just kind of spray it, lay it up there and just kind of give it a little bit of a, a reference that that's going to be uh, layered in there. And if you want something to kind of look like it was uh, having a step off, uh, or you were doing like the chiseled edge, uh, if like, let's say we were doing something like maybe something was chiseled in stone, then you could do this around the edges, give it a little bit more uh, of an organic look, kind of like coming around this side, the edge like that kind of gives it like a little bit of an indention, like it's actually chiseled, um, into an edge. And that's kind of how you would do it. Um, Nothing really fancy by any means, but it is kind of, uh, just gives you an idea of what you can do with just a simple technique and um, you'll get your stone look. Um, we'll do more videos uh, showing 
uh, different tips and tricks, uh, but you get the idea and you can apply this to anything that you want to do.